Hello family, I am your host Infinite Child and just have to give us this quick word. So as we, well, it's we in the AM and I am not, I am so restless right now, but I was just thinking, just, you know, uh, revisiting some thoughts and you know what's interesting? What's very, very interesting is that... <clears throat> When I was walking in darkness, uh, you know, it, 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 it was like there was no care in the world, you know, just doing my own will, uh, portraying to be someone that I am not, you know, be a, a pseudo about things and just willy nilly, right? Just willy nilly. And not understanding, not understanding how the enemy, you know, is like a roaring lion seeking whomever it can devour, right? And of course, I was in that, 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 uh, that playpen, the devil's playpen. And again, just living just, just, you know, existing, just doing whatever I wanted to do. And if you guys, if you guys really, really think about it, you know, and, and just being honest with uh, yourself, being honest with ourselves, when you turn around, when you repent and you receive God's word and you let the word wash you, cleanse you, it's so amazing how everything turns from, you know, black to white, you know, because in, in, in that darkness, there's that gray area because, you know, the enemy blinds you, right? <clears throat> and blinds your heart. When you turn to God and you become, you know, the renewing of your mind, right? It's so amazing how things turn from black to white. Your life, your life becomes black and white. And what I mean by that family is when you, when, when you live in the gray area, you're just totally blinded, right? That you, you just, enemy just overshadows you, right? just the darkness and the black and white represents the truth and the lie right I, I want this to make sense to you Holy Spirit the black and white because I've said before to you guys in uh, you know uh, um, previous content you know um I've said that, you know, I like, I prefer black and white. I think all things are black and white, but, you know, we have those gray areas, right? And living in darkness, you know, uh, it is the gray area because you're confused, it, it, just complete confusion and, and just darkness, right? Not understanding, you know, um, your heart is turned away from the Lord, you, you deciding to just do what you want to do, uh, just living willy nilly, you know, even though, even though you had some grace about yourself, you know, um, just a little bit of grace about yourself and, and, and choosing a preference of what you choose to do and what you choose not to do. Right. But again, the willy nilly, just being out there, not caring and, and just, out there, you know, um, sin is sin, right? It not one of the other uh, triumphs, the other sin is sin, okay. And the black and white represents um, when when you turn your life and you uh, uh, turn your life to Jesus Christ and you receive the word and, and let it, you know, cleanse us. You know, it's it's like. This is God's word that it is truth, right? 
And then you have your free will, right? God gave us choice. And the choice is to obey God and choice is to um, <clears throat> have one foot in, one foot out. Um, again, I want this to make sense. When you give yourself to, when you give your yes to God and you receive the word, you know, all things turn around. All things turn around and it's black and white for you. <clears throat> Meaning by choice, okay? God gave us his only begotten son. We, we receive the father. We receive Jesus Christ as our savior, uh, as our Lord and savior. And then there's the black and white. I know the truth. I know the truth. I receive the truth. And you have a will. It's your will to decide uh, your choice to choose. Black and white. It's your choice to choose. And when you choose to be obedient, receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you could go right or you could go left. Hearing the word of God and you choose not to surrender yourself, there's the black. I want you guys to understand this and, 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 and let it speak to your spirit. Those who have ears, let them hear. When you're out there in the world, you know, and, and living by worldly logic, you know, um, worldly preferences and, and, and all those things that come with it, you're in the gray area. Right. You, you, you're overshadowed. Right. The, the enemy is just there. And, and that's, you know, you play your tune to the enemy. Right. <clears throat> or you walk to the enemy's beat of this drum. Right. When the word, when you hear the word. And faith comes, faith comes by the word, hearing the word of God, hearing the word. And that's the word of God. It becomes black and white to you. It becomes black and white. That 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 gray area begins to uh, uh, dissipate, right? It begins to dissipate, and then now you're standing at a crossroads, right? You have the black and white. It becomes black and white to you. Before there's the gray area, then when you hear the word, receive the word, and your choice. Your choices. Your decisions, your consequences becomes black and white, right? And that's a choice you decide to make. It's either you are or you're not. You are or you're not, okay? I hope this makes sense to you, all right? And we know that the message is God's word, is that he gave his only, the gospel, the truth, the gospel is the good news that our Father gave us his only begotten Son, and whosoever believeth in him, whosoever. So that's for anyone. Anyone. The Father is is ha has invited everyone, every living being. He has invited everyone to receive the gospel. Right. And I do believe that, you know, all of us are capable of performing all things. You know, we are uh, capable of performing all things, you know, and th those two for those who believe. Right. And, and unfortunately, we do have unbelievers. Right. All are called. Few are chosen. Right. And so, you know. We as the body of Christ. Not only that we are light of this world and salt, right? And, you know, and we have savor, right? We, we, we can't be trampled on by, you know, uh, things and people, right? You know, it, it profits. It, it, it's not beneficial at all, right? 
but the authority of the word and that we receive the word legally, legally, right? And by faith, we have authority of the word. And in scripture, it says we abide in all good works. Glory be to God, right? We abide in all good works. In 2 Corinthians verse nine, uh, chapter 9, verse 8 says, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance to every good work. And so now, family, things change, right? All things change. The the the, the newness, the, the renewing of your mind, the transformation and, 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 and all the good works, all the good things that comes from the Father. And just notice that when you are just out there willy-nilly and just deciding to do things how you see fit, right? Or, or whatever things that uh, you you prefer to cater to you or, you know, things that, you know, you just uh, jump into um, or, uh, you know, things that you used to practice, you know, any perverseness, uh, any, 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 anything that's the opposite, you know, fornicating, you know, drunkenness, you know, envy and strife. And, and, and things of that sort, uh, you know, it, it, the good news is we have a choice and what choice and the choice that you decide will be your decision and your decision has its consequence or consequences right and so i just want to remind you guys family that you know the father is so welcoming and he's so good unto us and you know the father he yes the father will allow some things to occur you know the father will shake some things up right But family, rest assured, when you turn all things around and when you give the Father your yes and you receive his word by faith and you start to believe what he says about you, what he says in his word and how he sees you and his will for your life. For I know, this is the Father speaking, for I know the plans that I have for you, plans not to harm you. Plans to prosper you. Plans that gives you a hope in the future. Right? Know that all these things can turn around. It can, it can immediately turn around. As easy as it is blinking your eyelids, right? Easy. How it could turn around. Just give them your yes. Give him your yes and watch him work. Watch the father work and just being obedient and trusting him and knowing that the father is your source in all areas of your life in, 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 in your new beginning. Watch how different your life will be and will become, and the new person that you will become, amen, all things work together for your good, it doesn't matter what happened in your past, it doesn't matter, the father already known all that before you were in your mother's womb, he knew, he knew all the things that we would do, he knew all the things that we will uh, fall short of, he knew he, all this was foreknown, right? Yet the Father's love, love us so much, so much that he acted on it. He acted on it. 
And so let that be with you. The Father is our first love. He loved us first. And you saying yes to him and you receiving his word and believing, that's you acting on it. That's you acting on it. That's you saying, I'm willing, Father, to let all of this go. I'm willing to be obedient. I'm willing to receive your will for my life. I'm willing to be and to be called your child. I'm willing to follow you. I'm willing to take up my own cross. I'm willing to do the things that you say to do, your commandments. I'm willing to be that person, your child, that you say that I am. That's your acting. Words, only words matter. The only words that matter are God's word in what we speak. We speak God's word over our lives and those we love. And of course, we pray for our enemies. That's what matters. Amen. And watch them show up and show out in your life. Watch them work. Watch them work. Believe you me, the father is working and he loves you and he wants you. The Father, he does not want anyone to perish. He does not want anyone to perish. Let this be a reminder unto you. We no longer walk in darkness. We are light. We are light. And our light cannot be hidden. Amen. The Father loves you. Watch him work. This is your consolation. The Father is working. All things work together for your good. Doesn't matter what happened in the past. Trust Him. The Father is faithful. All things that you desire, all things that you ask for, your petitions for, all things that you need in your wants, the Father supplies all of that. He give it unto us, not because of our own strength, our own might, our own power. It's because of the Holy Spirit. It's the Father's Spirit that does all these wonderful and, and miraculous things. It's the Father that's working. And, and the blessings come. The blessings come. Everything that the Father says and, and wants us to do, it's a benefit. It is an inheritance. All because he loves us. It's not that we're, we're, we're perfect. It's not that we're like the, the greatest. It's not that, you know, uh, uh, or, or any, it's not any works that we've done. It, it's not us. It's only because the father loves us and whom he chosen to be his witnesses and to be our God, our father. Amen. And not the God of this world, lowercase g, which is Satan, the enemy. So family, be encouraged. Do not be deceived. I hope this word blesses you. I hope this message meets you where you are. I hope it resonates with you. And to my subscribers, much gratitude. We are in this together. Solidarity in Christ Jesus. Amen. You guys have a wonderful if you if you come along if you come across this message or if your notification notification uh um bell you hit the notification bell you know if if, if this bless you feel free i know this word not if i know this word will bless you because this word is for someone for somebody and it is for me as well okay feel free to share with someone else feel free to listen to other content and if you feel led to so with the ebook or in the ministry, feel free. Click the link. Much, much gratitude to my subscribers. And I am thankful that this content, this content blesses you and encourages you, right? Amen. So you guys, 
Again, if you come across this in the wee a.m. or in the a.m. or in the evening, afternoon, night, let this word bless you. Receive it by faith. Receive it. Remember, Jesus Christ is the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. You guys have a good night. Enjoy. Enjoy your coming day, right? I love you all for the love of Christ. For those who are not saved, John 3, 16. Repent, confess with your mouths, believe in your heart. Know that you are blessed and be a blessing unto others. And again, family, be expecting, be expecting. The Father is doing big things, okay? He is working. Be expecting. It's more than you can even fathom. It's a lot that the Lord is going to bless you with. Amen. And not just with material things, but, you know, it's your spirit, the maturity in, in spirit and, and in glory to glory and just elevation, right? Your understanding, your knowledge, new revelation, insight, right? Your The spiritual gifts, right? And just bearing fruit, bearing fruit. Amen. Amen. I love you all with the love of Christ. I am Infinite Child. I will check in with you later. We shall talk soon. Have a good night. Peace.